Hi, my name is Bridget. I work with the New South Wales Rural Assistance Authority. I'm here today to talk you through our online application form for the Emergency Drought Relief Transport Subsidy. This application form is really easy to use. It's recommended that you already have your scanned copies of your local land services rates, your Shire rates, your tax invoices, and if you're an owner carrier, your logbook entries and vehicle registration papers. If you can fill your form out in one go, that's our recommended setting. It's also recommended that you use the form in Google Chrome. So the first page of our application form is just capturing your personal information and about your primary production business. The common mistake in the mobile field is that the six plus 614 takes the place of the zero of your mobile number. So it is plus 614 and then the final digits of your mobile number. However, this field isn't compulsory, so you can always complete your mobile number in the phone field. If you're needing to add more key contacts, say a partner or a spouse in the business, you just click yes and complete the additional fields. You then need to complete your property address. And if you have a different postal address, just click yes and complete the additional fields. On this page, you will need to enter your main claim type. This is the main reason that you are claiming. From the drop-down, select the main claim type and complete the appropriate fields. On the bank details page, this is the account you would like us to make payment at the end of the process. Please make sure all details are correct. The Rural Financial Counselor's details page is not compulsory. This field is for those of you who are a client of the Rural Financial Counselling Service. If you don't have a Rural Financial Counselor, you can leave these fields blank. On this page, you will need to upload all of your attachments, so your LLS rates, your LGA rates, if you're owner carrier, your logbook entries and registration papers, and then you have the option to add multiple invoices. This will be all of the invoices requiring payment, even if they aren't listed on the movement page. On the final page, you will need to click I agree and I declare on each of the checkboxes. This is to ensure that you comply with the eligibility criteria set out by the department. At the end of your application, you will need to click Submit. Applications are taking around 14 days for processing. If your application has been approved or refused, you receive a phone call from the assessment officer to advise you of the outcome of your application. If your application has been approved, payment will be made within 10 days of your application. The great thing about this application form is that you only need to apply once. It is super easy and to submit future claims, all you need is your BP reference number and submit your future invoices to rural.assist at ra.newsouthwales.gov.au. If you require assistance completing this form, feel free to give us a call on 1800 678 593 or head into your local land services participating offices.